Greetings, friends. Nux Hard again, back in effect. Um, here we are playing a, a, well, a game that I have never played on the Sega Dreamcast, and this is actually uh, called Sega Tetris. Um, this is not the translation, this is the one that was only released in Japan. So I'm not sure what the translations are on certain of these menus. So I'm just gonna like try to wing it. It's my first time actually playing it. And, uh, the vibe with this one is uh, it's got a little tropical feel. You know, you pick different characters like you would in a lot of Tetris games that spun off and get different characters. You can compete with each other from what I understand. Um, I'm just going to play single player mode. And as you can see, I don't know what these versions are because they're not in English. I need to work on my Japanese. Um, but here we go. I'm gonna pick this first mode. Obviously, this is probably just the one-player mode. And I'm gonna go with... Oh, I like the bald eagle. But I think I'm gonna go with this square head spiky guy. And I see those question marks on the left and the right there. That means probably they have different versions of the person, so I'm sure you have to beat the game in some kind of way. But right now, we're gonna just see what this is all about. I'm going to probably sift through a couple of versions to see if I can play a, a version where I have to play the computer. Like any other Tetris, the controls are exactly the same, nothing different. The only difference is, of course, the characters, the background, the music. I'm not sure exactly why they call this Sega Tetris, because I would think if it was Sega Tetris, they would have, like, I don't know, like, maybe characters from Sega games, like, say, uh, Sonic or Tails or... Or even some guys from like uh, two of the fighting games that Sega made up. These just seem like random guys that they just made up for this game and this game alone. Not sure what that whole roulette thing is there, but I don't know, maybe if someone's ever played this game they can explain it. Let me know in the comments if you happen to watch this video. I've always been a very huge fan of Tetris, you know, like, I, I try to do my best to find any versions I can play. And this is my first time coming across this one. I like to thank Viz.com for uh, having this game available for me to check out. You know, I, I mean, I haven't, like I said, I haven't played it before, but I'm already kind of enjoying it. I like the sounds, I like the colors. Everything seems to be in order. You know, everything's pretty fluent. And again, when you can ever, when is there ever a control problem with the, the Tetris game? I do enjoy the fact that you know when you change levels, the music changes, just like a regular like side scroller game or any game where the levels change, and they take the time and effort. It's not just the same song over and over. But you can't hate on the classic. <clears throat> Uh, Nintendo version of a uh, Tetris with a, a cool Russian, Russian sound. Well, as you can see, the pieces are already starting to move faster. This is only level three. I don't think they give you a little more leeway, but being such a Tetris head, I, I get pretty used to it really fast, so it doesn't bother me too much. But I was a little nervous when I was playing new Tetris games. I always feel that. Some new rules can be thrown out, and when you don't have the instruction manual, like what you used to have back in the 90s, 80s, whatever. See, this is going way too fast to start off. I mean, what the heck? I mean, how is this fair? Okay, this is ridiculous, but hey, whatever. So that's what I'm saying, I like about these new Tetris games, and I never know what to expect. There's always something different. Is there anything I can do about that roulette? Is that screwing up my gameplay? What's going on? Well, it looks like I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna see what the continue offers. Is it gonna still go fast? Is it gonna slow down, or what? Let's find out. Nope. Well, I tried some combinations of the buttons, and it's not slowing down. So, I'm assuming... I'm assuming this is just what the level is. It's just, it's just fast. Not really sure why. 
I mean, level four, level three, I mean, and it's already going ape shit. <laughs> wow, this is crazy. I only got one line the whole time. Jeez. It's crazy. Well, I'm gonna give it another shot and see what happens and see why exactly this is being such a jerk. <laughs> I'm assuming this is like this is one of those Tetrises where like you go to a, it's a level three, it goes fast, and if you can get through it um, and get the lines that you need to get by, the next level will slow down. I played games that do that. I honestly can't remember which one was that did that. I think it might have been the arcade version or the N64 one, F64. But I don't know. I'm not. I'm not quite sure, honestly. See, so, there you go. One minor screw up, and that's it. And I think the damn penguin just laughed at me. Yep. So, I was right about that. It goes fast for a second. I'm not really sure how that. why it does that, but hey, that's a good little twist they add to these Tetris games. But man, good luck getting through that. And if this was an arcade version, we'd be wasting a lot of quarters. But, as you can see, I guess the ice cold bitterness of uh, South Pole never been a little cold to me. <laughs> Weak joke. And now I'm in the nice waters of wherever, some tropical land. I don't know, I'm not really sure. Maybe the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, here we go with the speed again. Yeah. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna be going to continue this again on this one because this is really, it's really crazy. like enough of that I don't think I'm gonna continue so that being said let's let's take a check just for you at least that's single version and as you can see the speeds change not necessarily through levels gradually but like every other level after the third it seems it goes from slow to fast so as you notice um when I first started, when I first started the game, it started on showed you the first level background, and now see I made it to the fourth, and I was showing the fourth game background. That's kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of a uh, Mario Kart 64 when uh, you beat the game for the first time. The opening, the opening screen, title screen, is a different background. As, as, all, as we all know, who's ever played that one, it's got the racetrack. Whether on the road when you first play the game and then when you beat it, you know, in the extra or 150, it shows them like dirt books. Yeah. That being said, um, hope you enjoyed this video. If not, no big deal. <laughs> this is Knox Hardy signing off, and if you ever get a chance, check out some uh, Tetris, Sega, Sega Tetris. And uh, if, you can, if you can, get some couple players and try to play some two player versions. Because yeah, I bet you that would be pretty fun. Pretty addictive behavior, I tell you what. Playing this game, I could be on this thing all day. 
Oh, but look at this. Look how he attached to pieces. Jeez, I wonder how did you do that? Oh man, I'm really gonna have to do some research on this one. But either way, um, uh, this is how I'm sign off once again, and uh, see you soon and for the next game. Peace.